The investigation will last for years. Nothing will get done. Government will grind to a halt. And our country will continue to suffer. Hillary's corruption is a threat to democracy. Clinton voters are worried about these new emails and confused about what they mean. Trump supporters think they're a game changer. I think they already know that there's some very damaging emails in there, and she's in a lot of trouble. But the FBI director hasn't seen the emails yet, so how That's would he know? I, well, they, his underlings below him, they have to know. They're not going to bring that uh, to the attention unless there's some serious information in there. That's very damaging for Hillary Clinton. How concerned are you that it could affect the election? Uh, about a scale of one to ten, about a five. So that means you're somewhat worried. I'm somewhat worried, yeah, because some of the people didn't want to vote for it before because of it. It could tip them to Trump. With me now to talk about all of this, Robert Wolf. He's an outside economic advisor to President Obama and CEO of 32 Advisors and uh, Donald Trump campaign advisor and former Georgia Congressman Jack Kingston. Welcome to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, hey, Jack, Jack, Jack I, I want to start with you because Mr. Mr. Trump said uh, Mrs. Clinton is a threat to democracy if she becomes president of the United States. Really a threat to democracy? Well, I think the, the idea of a president-elect being under potentially a criminal investigation by the FBI could lead to a constitutional crisis. And I, I think there's real questions about that. If you look at what has happened between the Department of Justice and this investigation, the uh, friction with them and the FBI, uh, Bill Clinton meeting with Loretta Lynch on a tarmac, totally unprecedented. If you look at the FBI's uh, inconsistency, which I think we all can agree on, it's been a very disturbing um, investigation. If you look at Hillary saying, I turned over all my emails and um, then saying that she did not know or I don't exactly know what she's even said about having her private server. She had 13 different devices. Um, uh, Huma Abedin saying that she turned over her emails and then 650,000 of them turn up on her husband's uh, computer. I mean, it, this, is, this is a very strange year. And yes, I do think that if Hillary Clinton was elected, uh -huh. we're going to have all kinds of investigation and all kinds of uncertainty. Gotcha. Okay, Jack, I'm going to go to Robert now. Unfortunately, Robert cannot hear you. So, yeah, I can't hear him, so but I, I heard a little of it. Try to relate. I, I've what been you on just Jack said. before. You know, he's a surrogate. He reads a great script, I have to admit. But <laughs> as a former congressman, I'm sure he would probably talk about what Alberto Gonzalez said, Republican Attorney General Michael Murkowski. They thought what. Um, FBI Director Comey did was outrageous. Uh, you know, from my perspective, the vote isn't going to be about emails. What's amazing is for what's amazing is for, for the last five days we had the best GDP in a year, and everyone's talking about emails and, and this process that we know nothing about today. It's complete speculation, and the only thing we know is the last time Comey made a direct comment, he said there was no case against Secretary Clinton. So this is all speculation. We don't know what's in there at all. Um, you know what? Why don't we go to a break and try to fix our technical problems because it's very hard to have a three-way conversation when one party can't hear the other. So we're going to take a quick Robert break. To hear me. <laughs> ah, yes, I'm sure you do. So we're going to take a break. We'll be back with much more in the newsroom. Okay, I think we got our technical bugs uh, worked out. Jack Kingston is back. He's a Trump surrogate and a former Georgia congressman. Robert Wolf also joins me. He is an outside economic advisor to President Obama and a Clinton supporter. So, welcome back. So, let's dive it wasn't right the in. Russians. <laughs> Pardon? I said it wasn't the Russians. <laughs> um, you're, now I can't, I'm having trouble hearing you, so I'm going to start with Robert, because Robbie Moo came out, who's Clinton's campaign manager, and he, he said that there's a double standard with the FBI when it comes to, you know, announcing this new batch of, of, of emails um, well, from Uma Abedin and um, the FBI looking into the possibility of Russia disrupting the election. Is there a double standard? Well. You know, certainly 17 national agencies have come out and said that the Russia are involved with hacking. You have the Trump former chairman uh, of his campaign possibly involved with uh, doing business with oligarchs there. You have, I think, one of the Trump uh, spa, uh, kids made comments about their relationship with Russian banks. And then, you know, for a fact, uh, Trump has been incredibly complimentary of Putin. 
So there's definitely something going on if you look at those four different situations. As someone who was involved in those WikiLeaks uh, hacks myself, you know, yeah, I think it's important to find out what really happened, and I would like to think that the FBI is taking it much more seriously than this uh, email approach where actually they've already said that the secretary had no wrongdoing. So, so, so Jack, sh does um, the FBI director have a responsibility to come out and inform the public about if they're, you know, Russian ties to this election? Uh, you know, I think if there were serious allegations, I mean, all I'm hearing really, frankly, is rhetoric and politics on that, but if there were serious allegations, I think all Americans would be interested. And I want to point out, this is all happening under Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton's watch. They had eight years to do something about cybersecurity, and what did Hillary Clinton do? She had her own emails, her own devices, and she carried uh, classified well, Jack, information Jack, I mean, outside going, of briefing going rooms. Back, doesn't doesn't the American public have the right to know if the Russians are trying to disrupt the American election? Uh, I, uh, I think they do. And I'm, I don't think you'd have any problem with the Trump campaign saying, certainly if, that, if that's if an issue, tr listen, let's find out about it. But, but we're in this position right now talking about Director Comey. He's become a household name because of Hillary Clinton. No, because I know, she did not turn over her emails. Congressman, she destroyed 33,000. If Trump released his taxes, we would see whether there is interest that he owes or is receiving from Russian banks. We would see different loan Robert, expectations. You and I, I know that he's the four, first presidential candidate to not release taxes, and it's not because of an IRS thing, because at the end of the day, if I want to, I'm, I've been under audit, I can release mine whenever I want. I understand I would do, be doing what you're doing. You're trying to pivot. The reality is Hillary Clinton said she turned over all her emails. Uh, Director Comey said that was not true at all. She said she did not destroy any. 33,000 were destroyed with bleach bit but that uh, 30 days after the Congress had been closed. That investigation was closed. Come on. The investigation was closed. Aberdeen has 650,000 emails. So that's not she true. Can still turn not it true. Over. Uma Aberdeen that, does not have 650,000 well, well, emails. Well, that's the number. Some but of them her, could be okay, different. Let me get accurate. back to this congressional hearing, though. It's very, very important. Jim Sensenbrenner or ask him. He said, since you closed the case, there has been some disturbing evidence that has come forward. Does that make you want to reopen it? And Director Comey said, no, in my opinion, none of that reaches the threshold. If something does, though, I will reopen the case. And that and he, is what And has he happened. has not reopened. And the case is it's not reopened. Been. Listen, it, you're, you're just well, talking I'm as gonna, speaking I'm points. Gonna end this you're great at talking it, speaking Robert, points. Thanks you to know both it is of you. Reopened. Thanks, gentlemen, and I apologize in for the technical days, difficulties. Jack Kingston, Robert Wolf. We'll be right back.